Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Use the link in my description to get two months free of Skillshare Premium. More about them later. What's up, boys? Lady boys, broskies, squad fam, bada beep bop bada beep bros, scooby dooby doo snacks, friends. Oh. Not friends? Too soon? Too close? Okay. So. So today's tutorial is going to be just a little bit different, and in a little bit different, I mean completely, totally awful. Um, I accidentally deleted the project file for the video that we're going to be looking at today. He's a genius. Are you a genius, bud? It's just a bright, sunny, normally, you know, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday afternoon, and there I am sitting on my computer, realizing I need to make some space so I can um, import more footage. So I go through, see what I can clear out, and I see this unimportant looking library. So I'm like, hmm, I probably will never make a tutorial on this. So go ahead and swipe, drag, plop, and right into the trash can it went. Good thing is, is I made some room for my uh, uh, footage that I need to import. Um, but here we are without a project file. So basically I have no clue how this is gonna turn out, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so since I don't have the original project file, and all I have is the final baked out, uh, and all I have is the final video with all the text already in it, I'm gonna be working with some just still frames from this video. <laughs> Uh, but you'll still learn the technique, it just won't be as like flashy as it is. Okay, so here's a still frame that I'll be working with from the video. So first thing you're going to want to do is go over to text, sorry, titles, custom, boom, pop, pow. We're going to go over here and we're going to type out our whole first sentence that we want to appear. Perfect. <clears throat> My final choice is uh, Times New Roman. Perfect. All right, cool. Now I'm going to scale it down just a bit. And now we're gonna go ahead and hit this button. And now we're gonna go ahead and move it to the position that I'm thinking will look nice. I think that's gonna come out really nice. All right, cool. So there's our sentence. But now how do we make that So go ahead and duplicate this, and now get rid of everything except the deer. Now duplicate that, and we're gonna just type in Peter. Duplicate that, and we're going to make that our McCannon part. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up these individual words. So we can go ahead and come in here a little bit. Deer is already in a good spot. It's where it needs to be, it's good. Peter, not so much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable the deer clip and the McCannon clip by pressing V. Then we're gonna grab Peter and we're gonna hold down shift and drag him over till he lines up with the Peter in the original text line. Uh, make the McCannon visible again, same thing. Hold down shift and just drag it over, re-enable these two clips. So now to get this effect, all we have to do is just line up where we want each word to pop in. So I think I'll start with a little blank space. Huh, I bet you thought I was gonna throw in a clip from a Taylor Swift's music video, blank space, didn't you? Your little chump bucket. Well, 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 2019, I'm not gonna be that predict. I'll move the deer here. Now to get a typewriter effect, you wanna usually go two to three frames, but for this I kinda want it to be like deer, Peter, pause, McKinnon. A little bit more dramatic. You're a drama, you're really drama. So for that I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe frames. Drag that to there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I want more of a pause on the McCannon part. So now it's kind of looking like this. Okay, next let's go ahead and take care of that little clickety click, click, clack, click sound. So go over to your sound effects and type in computer, the computer mouse. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, 
Sounds like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop that down here. Here. <laughs> um, and what I like to do is I like to separate these into two separate clicks. So I just do Command B to make a cut there. And now we have these two separate click sounds. So all you have to do is just line up that click to when the um, text comes into frame. And then we'll finish it off with this higher pitch click. I like to lower the uh, volume of them. So I think we'll bring it down to like negative seven. And the second one will bring down even lower. I'll bring this one down to like five. Now for this part, all we're doing is just switching out that last Canon text. And then probably right there, I wanna cut it to another one. So just make a cut. And then you can change this word to whatever. Boom. Go ahead and add that same sound effect that we used for the McKinnon sound. And we have this. So to add the animation of the dots going across and the question mark popping up, all we're gonna do is go ahead and make a cut where you want that first dot to be. Command B, go back to your text, add one dot. I'm thinking we'll go one, two frames. So we get that dot, dot, dot. If we did one frame, it'd be too smooth. It'd be like dot, and we kind of want that dot, dot, dot. So we'll go two frames, Command B, go back to your text, add one more dot, one, two frames, Command B, go back to the text, add another dot. And then uh, with this animation, I want it to be like dot, 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 pause, Question mark. Yes, I see you. So now we have our dots going. One, two, three. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Command B. Go back to edit your text and add that question mark. Now we're looking at something like this. Just go ahead and add those clicking sound effects back in there. Now we have something like this. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel with a working microphone. I'm your host, Orion York. All right, well now that my mic is working and we have actual audio, I guess this would be the perfect time to tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare- Ha! Oh, pathetic. Whoa, what? Hey, how, how the heck did you get in here? Don't matter. Hey, you mind if I smoke this? I don't care if you like it or not. I'm gonna do it, you know why? Hey man, please don't smoke in here for real. Do you know why? Wait, dude, that's not even a cigar, that's a sparkler. Yeah, I like it. I'm different. I'm cut from a dirty cloth. Unlike you. I don't think that's the saying. You're a hack. Just like every other kid out there with their sponsorships, syncs in bio, promotional passwords. Dude, can you just put that out? Uh, let me think about that. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. Just like you're not gonna talk my ear off about how Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Wait, yeah, how did you know that? Yeah, I'd bet you'd like to know, you little twerp, just like you'd like to know that with Skillshare you can explore classes and everything from photography, to marketing, to creative writing, to productivity, and so much more. Wait, were you gonna- And! If you get your dirty little snout and a premium membership, that gives you unlimited access to all the classes from experts working in the field to help you gain new skills. Mmm, sounds great. Again, please, put that out. My fire alarm is going off. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Uncle Ronnie's not done talking to you over here. Listen, I'm cheap. It's one of my many qualities. I'm a good guy. What can I say? Me and Skillshare get along real good because they're really cheap too. For an annual subscription, less than $10 a month. Forget about it. I spend more than that in a day on bow ties and cigars. Again. Please put that out. My fire alarm is going off. I'll put out my cigar when you stop being a little hobnocker and start signing up for two months free of Skillshare Premium Membership where you get unlimited access, access to quality classes, classes from, from experts, experts working, working in their, in their fields. fields. Yeah, 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 I know. Good. So we're learning. Hmm, yeah, I guess we are. But two seconds ago, you said you hated that I was doing a sponsored video. I do. It's vile. It's disgusting. It turned my soul from a dark gray to a complete black. I'm dead inside. But I knew you'd screw it up. And if there's one thing that I hate more than sponsored videos, it's no good immature twerps like you messing up the simplest of tasks. It makes us real men look really bad in front of the ladies. So let me handle this, kid. Go back to the playground or something. Skedaddle. Listen, you're talking to me now. Uncle Rodney. Uncle Rodney's gonna hook you up. Uncle Rodney's gonna give you two months free of Skillshare. Not just any Skillshare. Skillshare premium membership, baby. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's some hot stuff. How much is free, you're asking? Let's do the math real quick. Zero buckaroos, that's what it comes out to. Personally, I've been taking advantage of this great amazing deal by watching some entrepreneurship classes by Michael Chernow. Let's just say uh, Uncle Ronnie has kind of headed the family business around these parts, so uh, I gotta know what I'm doing. And uh, Michael's classes here sure are helping the ship sail smooth. But you know, it's up to you, it's your decision, it's your life. Make the mistake of not doing it, I don't care, see if I care. But if you double cross me, you don't click that. 
let's just say uh, the business that I'm in, we're doing pretty good. We do our jobs pretty good. I'm in the mafia. I'll kill you. Let's take a look at this little portion here, shall we? So basically we're taking out all the words and all the other letters except for the I that's being used for the next sentence. So it goes like, Roop, bing. so it's kind of cool. It's kind of whatever. It's kind of it's kind of what you're here for. So let's learn it. So first we're going to get rid of the deer and Peter from the left. So that's easy. All we're going to do here is go down to our deer and go to the part where we want to cut it. Command B and delete. Then once the deer is gone, we'll go one, two, three. Cut away the Peter. Now we just want to isolate the I in the McKinnon so that can be used for the first letter in our next sentence. So let's get rid of the question mark and the three dots. So let's start right here. We're just gonna go hit Command B, make the cut. Get rid of the question mark. And I want this to be fast, so we'll just go frame by frame. Next frame, get rid of one more dot. Next frame, one more dot. Now I want a slight little break in between the dots disappearing to the words disappearing. So we'll go one, two frame, cut. We'll get rid of everything except for the I. But if we try to get rid of the MCK, we see that our I moves to the beginning. That's no good. Duplicate this last part and just put in our I. Then just like before, we're gonna zoom in, hold down shift and drag that I over so it overlaps perfectly with the I and the remainder of the word. We can just go one frame and get rid of the M-I-C-K-I. Adding our click sound effects back in, we're looking at something like this. Awesome, so by using those techniques, you can come up with a lot of different options, whether that's plugging in a word at a time or one letter at a time, frame by frame. Mess around by how many frames are in between each word or letter to get a different look and style. So see what you can do with that, mess around with it, have fun, be safe out there, wear a helmet, wear insoles, Dr. Scholl's security footwear. Do whatever you want to do with your life.